Paolo, thank you. Great to be here. Thank you. Just got back from Minnesota, so this is a pleasure to be here. I've never been I'm from Los Angeles originally, never been in that part of the world. It was freezing out there. I know you get a little cold at five degrees. Five. I went up to a guy in Minnesota. I said, this is incredible. How cold is it? Five. Oh my God, five. Five is an age, not a temperature when you're from California. There's a, people were growing TV dinners out there. You've never seen anything like it. Just ice everywhere. And, uh, and, and me, I was bundled up because I'm used to the sun. I put on like I had three coats, you know, I had gloves, I had boots, I had a scarf. It looked like Bigfoot going to baggage claim. You know, I was like, <laughs> because I am large, I should tell you. I am a little bit taller than your average Caucasian man. I'm um, <laughs> six feet, nine inches tall. And we should talk about um, athletics because I'm not in it. And there's a reason. It's because Jews don't dribble. <laughs> yeah. They do when they get to be about 70, but it's involuntary, you know. And um, you can tell I'm Jewish. I hope I'm not offending anybody. When I was nine years old, I was grounded for paying retail, which uh, <laughs> has a lot to do with that. You too? Yeah. And uh, it's... Guy goes up to a Jewish guy and says, can I borrow 50 bucks? And the Jewish guy goes, 40 bucks? Where am I going to get 30 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> happens. It happens. It really does. And um, never very athletic. Always wanted to be. You know, always tried. Just forget it. It, it didn't happen at all. And uh, got involved in the Olympics this summer. I, I just loved it, you know, fantasizing, wanting to, wanting to be in the Olympics. And uh, God, it was a, a great, great way to see these athletes compete against each other you know you can tell so much about an athletic team by the way they march when they're announced you know if you saw the opening ceremonies the orient extremely disciplined people you know, please welcome china walking out there straight nobody moving there ain't talking please welcome japan same thing <laughs> please welcome the united states of america we come out we're half crocked we're throwing frisbees <laughs> uh, we got the glasses on, we got the antenna here, you know. Of course, you had the brothers in the back going, go for the gold, yeah. <laughs> You're going to go for the gold, yeah. yeah. Did you see Mexico? <laughs> they drove out, you know. <laughs> hey, but, oh, you know. Of course, Israel was there. You know, no coaches, just attorneys. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it fair, will you? Appreciate it. And, uh... See Bangladesh? They were there. One athlete. How do you send one guy to the World Games? Please welcome Bangladesh. This guy comes out, he's carrying the flag, he had the banner, he had luggage. I mean, the guy was, didn't know where to go, you know. And, uh, but it's good to be doing this. This is fun. This is something I've wanted to do my whole life. Didn't always do it. I um, had a waiter for many years. And when you're a uh, six foot nine waiter, People don't want you to wait on them, you know, because it's, it's like being served by lurch, you know, more coffee. No, thank you. <laughs> you know, just, wait, just don't touch the children. We're just here just to check, please, you know. And, and, I worked at, <laughs> and I worked at an Italian restaurant that had ceiling fans. And, and I didn't know this till like my first night, you know, and, and I'm nervous. And I just walked up to the table and said, hi, tonight we're boom, you know. And, and boom, you know, right. And then the kids are jumping on me. They think I'm a ride, you know, they're taking me around there. You gotta be careful of that, it hurts. And I went to a um, delicatessen. Had to wait on Jewish women for lunch, which is a lot like parole. You've never done that. And it's because their tone, the voice, when they order, can I get a glass of white wine? You know, and you're like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you bring them, and, and you bring them the glass of white wine, and they always, can I change this to a glass of red wine? I used to say, I don't know, give it a try. Go ahead. <laughs> Do something with yourself. Probably a lot of money in it. Go ahead. Do people like impressions? Ah, uh, wish I did some. They're fun, boy. <laughs> you all familiar with the movie, The, uh, the Right Stuff? Okay, it was a very, very famous time in history when we were uh, sending up the first group of astronauts. I've changed it a little bit. Um, actually, we weren't sure if we were going to use astronauts or monkeys. So I got somewhere in the middle, and we're going to use five comedians. It's called, it's called The Right Stuff with the Wrong Guys. I'm going to take you to that famous scene where they're debating who's going to be the first to go in the rocket. Hey, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you know, it's rough out there, you know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I don't want to go that piece of junk tin can, man, I'll tell you. you know. 
Hey, you kidding me? I'll tell like to send my wife up there, you know, I'll tell you. I'm too old. I mean, I'm too old to be an astronaut, you know. I'll tell you, I'm so old, I walk out of my house, guys follow me with shovels, you know. I need you, Harry. Hey, you, Woody, you know, why don't you be the first Jew boy in space? Why don't you get up there, you know, put your people on the map? What do you say, Woody? Give it a shot, all right? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no, I, 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 am, I, really, I really think that it's, it's great that, 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 you know, you, that you would like to make me the first Jewish lab experiment. But I, am, I have an incredible fear of, 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 of heights because I was, I was pushed off the pulpit at my bar mitzvah. You know, and I, you know, what, what I really think we should do is we should be very, very didactic, very intelligent. We have to actually take the most intelligent, physically competent man among us and let him be the one to go in space. Okay! <laughs> dumbest homo sapiens walking the face of the earth. <laughs> now why the hell, yeah, would anybody put you into rocket? Well, I happen to know more about aerospastics than any one of you. <laughs> now, what makes you think? <laughs> Do you... You know, the problem with you, Archie, the problem with you is you got brain damage. <laughs> you do, you got nothing inside. Uh, did you know, did, uh, did, you see? <laughs> do you know what you got upstairs? <laughs> nothing. The biggest ball of jello pussy is in your head. <laughs> you got brain damage. <laughs> 